I'm finding my Zen. Welcome back. I have another Martinez. This one. And I know I've done this before. That's the 1970 version from Mr. Boston's. <clears throat> Except for I added a little, uh, little Reagan's orange bitters. And you know what? If I want a cherry in my Martinez, I'm going to have a cherry in my Martinez. Welcome to part two of our double feature featuring Spanish actress Soledad Miranda. This is, and I apologize that I couldn't find a one sheet, but look at this. This is like kind of a painting almost. I don't know where this came from other than to say Google. I could not find a one sheet of this movie, just uh, DVD covers, much like I have. Maybe I should have brought my damn DVDs on here and just showed them to you. <clears throat> but yeah, look at that. You've probably all seen this picture anyway. <laughs> and again, I'm just going to gently set this over here. <laughs> Okay, this is She Killed in Ecstasy, also 1970 Telesina. So Soledad and Jess Franco were very busy in 6970, <clears throat> starring Soledad Miranda, and nearly everyone else from Vampiros Lesbos. I know my poster didn't tell you who, who it starred, but there were a lot of the same people. And I'm kind of wondering now, were these filmed at the same time? Well, now i got to read about it. Does Jess Franco have a biography I can read? I better start looking. Dr. Johnson is a scientist. He's doing cutting edge research with hor hormone injections. Hormone. Here, maybe this will help. <laughs> a clown needs his hormones. He and his wife, the ever-beautiful Miranda, are eagerly awaiting a grant to continue his work. Well, not only is he turned down for the grant, but he's ostracized by his peers and stripped of his medical license. I don't even remember what this was about. <laughs> it's not like he's Andrew Wakefield, for fuck's sakes. Wait, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> Humiliated and destroyed, the doctor has a mental breakdown. Which not even Sold Soledad Miranda can cure. Can you imagine? He slits his wrists in despair. Mrs. Johnson goes mad and vows revenge on the four doctors who ruined her husband. As would you. The first one is easy. All pious and preachy. Naturally, he's a hip <laughs> hypocrite. He's a hypocrite. Imagine somebody who's pious and preachy and also a hypocrite. I know that's pretty hard, right? 
<clears throat> well, he's a perverted hypocrite. He falls for her prostitute routine, and she cuts his throat. Then comes the blonde girl. You know, the one from Vampiros Lesbos. <laughs> yeah, she was one of the doctors in on this. <clears throat> and again, Lesbos is the key word. Smothered with a plastic pillow. Each of these left with a note. Saying how many are left. The next doctor, despite his paranoia and knowing that Mrs. Johnson, <clears throat> knowing that it is Mrs. Johnson who's doing this, he knows he's paranoid. And yet, he still takes the bait. <laughs> Soledad Miranda was a very sexy girl, you know. Well, by now, Mrs. Johnson is completely bonkers. See, she has her husband's corpse laying in the bed the whole time. Yeah, he's, he's still in the bedroom there. And she, like, talks to him and sleeps by him every night and stuff. <clears throat> well, tonight, with her last victim at hand, she's feeling kind of frisky. And gets a little bit necro <laughs> with her dear departed hubby. I hope this doesn't get taken down. <laughs> Because of the subject matter. <laughs> but seriously, this is just a rated R movie. It played in drive-ins around the country. It's kind of erotic. And it's kind of gross at the same time. Okay. <laughs> we're we're going to leave it right there. Just because. Let's summarize, shall we? The ending is somewhat anticlimactic, but nonetheless, it's a great film. Much the same feel as Vampiros Lesbos, and a lot of the same music I, I i reckon the same the music was made by the same people and maybe even some of the same songs were used i'm going to have to look for this soundtrack she's just a little thing pretty as a picture but she's deadly as poison and hardly dressed most of the time <laughs> with sexual perversion and wild-eyed murder and none of that supernatural crap that you see so often. She Killed in Ecstasy is a five-ring circus here on feature two of the late night picture show. Okay. I've added some new movies to the bucket. Doesn't mean we're going to get a new double feature, but they're slowly getting in there. Yeah, even with 350 movies to go, I'm still watching movies and putting them in this bucket. You know, I think Charlie's going to have to carry on after I'm dead. 
I'll drink some more health tonic to keep me alive. But I'm pretty sure Charlie's going to have to carry on after I'm dead. Maybe he'll already be a famous YouTuber. Gaming and whatnot. So when I uh, shake this bucket, these all <laughs> gather together down in the bottom. Not that one, it's too obvious. How about this one? I'm not sure about next week because I think I have to work for uh, my buddy at the gas station. But next episode. Can we read that? Red Planet Mars and Journey to the Seventh Planet. We're headed into outer space next time on the Late Night Picture Show. Now, give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down. Leave some comments. Tell me, are you a fan of Jess Franco? Are you in love with Soledad Miranda? She unfortunately was taken from us in a car accident. Not too long after these pictures were made and Jess Franco carried on without her, he found a new muse who's also not bad, but it's unfortunate. Um, I believe Solda Miranda was only 27, 28. Part of that club. Well, tune in next week or the week after. For this outer space red planet. What's the seventh planet? Saturn? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we're going we're going to Mars and to Saturn next week. Next time, I should say. Good night, kids. Pleasant dreams.